This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to another native Indiana tree found only in the northern part of Indiana near Lake Michigan, and that is gray birch. We do have some other birches in Indiana, the most common which is river birch, but we can also occasionally find uh, yellow birch and paper birch across the state as well. This is probably our least common birch in Indiana. So gray birch can be told from some of the other species by this very triangular leaf. And you'll notice a very triangular shape, also a long pointed end and tooth margins on the outside edge. Very limber twigs. The leaves are held alternately along the twigs. Relatively long pointed buds. And the fruiting and flower structure is this catkin. And these are the female flowers that hold the seed. Gray birch gets its name from the smooth gray bark. And so unlike paper birch, which it can look a little bit like, this bark tends to be more of a kind of a dingy gray to color, although it can be pretty bright at times. But uh, one of the characteristics that will help you separate from paper birch is that it does not peel or exfoliate at all. And so no peeling bark on this. The bark is always smooth and tight to the stem. Very attractive tree, somewhat short-lived, but able to grow on a wide variety of sites and is a pioneer species coming into disturbed areas. So gray birch, one of our most uncommon birches in Indiana.